Ford's Maverick has been a runaway sales success since it was first introduced in 2021. Demand is so high for the little truck from Dearborn that order books are sold out within hours, if not minutes, of opening. If Ford could have built more, they definitely would have sold more than the 74,000 Mavericks in 2022. Ford's big miss was underestimating the demand for hybrids. They estimated customers buying only 15-20% to as hybrids, but actual demand was more like 50%. That's a good problem to have, but it seems like they could have done a bit more market research on this one. Big, tough trucks have never been more popular than in recent years, and Ford's lineup clearly shows this trend. The Maverick's exterior is basically a scaled-down version of a Super Duty, and they nailed it. From the chunky front end to the base trim steel wheels to the integrated bed design, everything blends together so well, it's hard to find anything wrong with it. It's just slightly smaller than the mid-sized Ranger, so expect that truck to grow in its next generation. What do you think of the exterior design of the Maverick? Tell me in the comments below. Coming inside the Maverick, the first thing you'll notice is that it just looks right. It isn't overdone, but you can tell it was designed by people who know trucks. There are unique touches such as a sunglasses holder behind the infotainment screen, underseat storage in the second row, room for a mountain bike inside the cabin, and unique textures and colors on the door panels. The base model might start in the low $20,000 range, but the interior doesn't look cheap. However, you can expect hard touch, yet durable materials throughout the interior. For 2024, the base engine is now the 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine with front-wheel drive. It pumps out 250 horsepower. The much more popular hybrid powertrain is now optional, as is all-wheel drive, but you still can't get the hybrid with all-wheel drive. It's front drive only. Ford did this in part to ease some of the hybrid supply issues, but also to squeeze out a bit more profit from buyers. This isn't surprising since dealers are marking up these trucks by thousands of dollars anyway, so Ford figured they would get in on the action. Gotta love supply and demand. Fuel economy is solid with the base engine getting 25 miles per gallon combined. Considering it pumps out 250 horsepower and it has the aerodynamics of a brick, there's not much to complain about at all. If you want more efficiency, there's the 2.5 liter hybrid engine that gets a combined 37 miles per gallon. This is what has everyone talking and throwing money at Ford like their Ticketmaster selling Taylor Swift concert tickets. Ford offers a variety of safety features on the Maverick, but a lot of them are optional. Forward collision warning with automatic braking is standard, and most other safety features are bundled in optional packages. Check the boxes for the luxury package and Ford Co-Pilot 360 package to get the safest Maverick. Many of these options are found on the base Santa Cruz, but this is probably how Ford keeps prices in check. With a starting price of just over $23,400 for the base XL, the Maverick is an excellent value. The top-of-the-line Lariat starts at just under $35,000. The hybrid is an extra $1,500 for all trims, and all-wheel drive is a $2,200 option. But again, you can't get a hybrid all-wheel drive Maverick. You can also customize your truck with many different optional packages as well as wheel and tire options. Don't bother looking for Ford's excellent Blue Cruise automated driving system, you won't find it here. The Maverick and Hyundai's Santa Cruz are the only two in the small truck segment, but the two couldn't be more different. The Santa Cruz was built off the Tucson small crossover platform. It has a more car-like driving experience and looks nearly identical to the Tucson in the front and inside. While the Hyundai can tow and go off-road, the Maverick is more capable in every way and will make you feel more confident doing both because it shares a platform with the rugged Bronco Sport. This is a great small truck with a great small starting price. There is a lot to like with the Maverick, and if Ford didn't drop the market research ball, they would have an even bigger winner on their hands. Once they are finally able to ramp up production and actually stock dealer lots, you should be able to take one on a test drive to decide if it's for you. Tell me what you think of the Maverick in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.